when you got out of public uh, practice, was Hogan Hartson your number one choice, or how did, how did they connect with you? Well, I had been, at that point, from the Justice Department and the White House, I had been out of uh, law school by then seven years and hadn't set foot in either a law office or, or a courtroom. So uh, I was you know, kind of betwixt and between of what I would do. And um, I went around and talked to the various you know, big law firms in Washington. I was originally going to go back, I, I thought, to Chicago, which is I grew up after leaving this area uh, in northern Indiana, a couple hours from Chicago, and I thought I would go there. Firms there had no idea what it meant to be a special assistant to the attorney general, a associate counsel that was still very much uh, a, a Washington sort of thing. So then I focused on Washington, and I went to all these big firms, and it was very nice. Uh, uh, but I noticed in most of the firms, you go in the lawyer, I don't know what your office is like, but you've got either an English. Wonderful. Firm, Where's Dave McInerney? <laughs> You have either a, a, a picture of an English fox hunt or some barrister in a wig on the wall, right? Well, you go to Barrett's office, and he has uh, himself there, as you mentioned, shaking hands with Fidel Castro, with Catherine Ann Porter, with uh, Truman Capote and John Lennon. And it occurred to me that that might be a little more interesting than fox hunting. <laughs> And it turned out I was. Yeah. And also, Barrett uh, was one of the very few mm -hmm. specialists in the Supreme Court work at the time. And I knew that that was what I wanted to do. And uh, he said he would uh, be willing to take me on to do it. What did you think of him the first time you met him? I thought he was brighter than hell. <laughs> um, he was ter terribly impressive. And he wanted to do precisely what I was doing, but more importantly, what I wanted to do more of, and he held out a great deal of promise to be able to do that. I was impressed. 